Now, private equity firm Volvo Pincus has picked up a 90% stake in Vistar Finance for $250 million. This gives Volvo a controlling stake in the NBFC that lends to micro, small and medium enterprises in India. Now, after the deal, founders Brahmanand Hegde and Ramakrishna Nishthala will retain a small portion of their stake in the company. The deal has provided an early investor exit for Elevar Equity, Omidyar Network India, Sama Capital, Investbridge Capital an opportunity to exit. But this is not the first time that a private equity player has picked up a controlling stake in a company in India. Yusuf and Arundhati Ramanan find out how this particular trend is bearing. Well, the Warburg Vistar deal is actually the fifth deal this year where a private equity firm has picked up a controlling stake in a company. According to data from Grand Thornton Bharat, some of the other key deals in this vein include Advent's purchase of 50.1% in Suvain Life Sciences from the Justy family for $770 million and Brookfield Asset Management's purchase of a 51% stake in CleanMax Enviro Energy for $304 million. In all, these five deals have a total value of $1.3 billion. The Grand Thornton Bharat data says that in 2022, India saw 11 deals where PE firms picked up a controlling interest in a target company. These deals totaled $5.6 billion and include Shell Overseas buying 100% in Spring Energy for $1.5 billion and Ind Infravit Trust buying five operational road projects from Brookfield Asset Management for $1.2 billion. However, the overall trend for the last few years suggests a slowdown in such deals. 2019 saw 27 deals worth $9.4 billion, 2020 saw 17 deals worth $3.4 billion, 2021 saw 15 deals worth $5.6 billion, and like I just mentioned, 2022 saw 11 deals worth $5.6 billion. Let's look at sectors now. The data from 2019 onwards shows that deals in the healthcare, energy and real estate space have been the most popular. Pharma, healthcare and biotech had seen as many as 12 deals since the beginning of 2019. Energy comes a close second with 10 deals and the real estate space stands at third spot with 8 deals in value terms. And the real estate space stands at third spot with 8 deals. In value terms, however, the number one spot goes to telecom followed by IT and then energy. And here are the two biggest deals we've seen in the last five years. Brookfield Asset Management, British Columbia Investment Management Corp and GIC together spent $3.7 billion to acquire Reliance Geo Infratel in 2019. The second biggest deal, at a little over $2 billion, saw Blackstone buying a 55.3% stake in Emphasis in 2021. Now, like I said earlier, we may have just five such deals so far this year, but only five months are done. And we're already at 29% of the entire deal value seen in 2022. So there is a chance we could end the year better than 2022. With Yusuf Kutteparambal in Mumbai, this is Arundhati Ramanan. Well, private equity continues to have appetite for control deals in India. Time for us to head into a break, but when we return, India's top wrestlers decide to immerse their medals in River Ganga in Haridwar this evening. That and more when we return.